I feel like this is a good way to close out the season because it's the same way we opened the season. So it's kind of like bookending what we did. Talking to Kate Nitchapork, uh, been on the opening of all the shows, Nitch picks, and then we bring on Hutch and he picks you. And so we get a chance to do, uh, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So jump right into it, you good? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Ready, ready to go? Kind of feels weird doing the long interview, but I love it, so comfortable. Uh, North Star memories, Start. let's start there. What's some of your on ice memories from uh, the last couple of years? Um, I think uh, one of my most thought about memories is I was watching in Kenora, uh, Clark scoring that five goal game was pretty awesome. Um, I think um, that first weekend that Cheech showed up and him throwing hits the way he was hitting in that first weekend was awesome. Uh, it really made everyone pretty, pretty excited for the season with him coming back. Uh, the bus trips, of course, be just the off ice stuff is it's always fun and being around the guys is just um, a good way to spend your time. Yeah. Oh, what an amazing team answer when a couple of your highlights are what some of your buddies did. <laughs> you didn't even throw out one of your own. I mean, no. even even though those are highlights, those are the things that stick out for you in your mind. I mean, first goal and all those always always stand out, but uh, pretty cool that it's it's hanging out with the guys and some of the things that they did that stick out with you. Yeah, like um, I always, I just always enjoyed watching the other guys play sometimes too. It was, um... Just fun to watch the, the way some of those guys played um, and just how skilled they were. And lots of skilled guys that came came through here for sure. Uh, you mentioned a couple of Cheech and Clark. Uh, who else? Who are some of the other guys that you enjoyed playing with? Um, I I really liked uh, Nolan Rideout last year. He's a really great guy. Uh, just enjoyed him in general. Um, really nice. Um, I liked when I also played with Brady and Ian. They made everything so much easier. <laughs> it felt like uh, you were playing. Banta May hockey and midget turt play. <laughs> <laughs> the, the game slowed down. It got a little bit easier. Yeah, it, it took some stress off of your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> there was somebody else to do a bit of the, the heavy lifting. Yeah, exactly. You just sit there and be able to just put in your work <laughs> <laughs> and do your thing. Wow, great, great answer. And off the ice, I mean, playing with those guys on the ice obviously was great. Uh, seems like, I mean, uh, we had Hutch on here off the top, fun guy to hang out with. But who are some of the other guys that you like to uh, to spend time with? Uh, I think that Gage Gogol has definitely been one of them. Uh, been sitting nearby him on the bus, hit in front of him the one year, behind him this year for basically two two years now. So you got used to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> he warmed his way into your life. Yeah. Hard, hard to believe he's got another year too. He's going to be uh, great news for him if he's around next year. Yeah, it'll be a third year, um, first one in two years. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be here with a crop of new guys and so if you had some advice for new players starting off what would you tell them uh follow the rules for sure uh, i'd say another one uh, make sure you do your schoolwork that's a big one i feel yeah. uh, i always was the one to struggle on that but i never got sat for school school reasons <laughs> <laughs> Well, and it is a bit of a struggle. I know like you guys are up late and getting to school in the morning and stuff like that, but it is super important and you're right uh, to, to skate by and not run into a jam with that is different than some of the guys. So that is good advice. And of course, just enjoy every moment. I'd say it goes by really fast. Uh, I remember a year ago now sitting in uh, the dressing room thinking one more weekend and there I still got a whole nother year after this. And now I'm sitting here thinking one more weekend. <laughs> <laughs> one more weekend and, that, and that's, that's it, it. Yeah. done <laughs> road weekend you know the guys are going to really i think dig into like you said enjoying every moment really having a good time on this last uh one last weekend away kind of sad you're not playing at home but also maybe nice for you guys to spend all that time together yeah uh we ended off the year last year with a road trip uh so it's, it seems like it's the right way to end it again. <laughs> That's just how it happens. Uh, bouncing a little bit back even before the North Stars, who are some memorable coaches you had? Was there anybody that sticks out that got you this far that helped, helped give you the, the skills and knowledge you needed? Well, I can, I can say my dad. Uh, I could say my grandpa. Your dad, your yeah, grandpa. my dad, my dad. No. <laughs> um, 
and then Adam Double A had uh, Greg Long that year. I also had well then Greg this year again, Stewie this year and last year. And really, other than that, I've had just my dad and grandpa. They've been the biggest parts probably to my hockey. Yeah. They they well they got you this far. Couldn't have been all bad. No, definitely couldn't have been all bad. <laughs> Few great. Truck trips, a few quiet truck trips when your dad is the coach. When things go good, they're good. When they're not so good, long drive home. Always. Uh, the, the, the road trip uh, back always depended on the game right before. <laughs> <laughs> For both of you, probably. Yep, basically. <laughs> Too good. And uh, how about some of the guys that you played with that maybe aren't here now with the North Stars, but anybody that sticks out from uh, from when you are a bit younger? Um, I'd say probably Gorov Guy, again. Uh, he was. I know his name was already said. Yeah. But... Uh, um, uh, Brendan Hall uh, was another big one. Um, somebody that you grow up with your whole life and hang around. Uh, you, you get, like I said, you get used to the guy and you like him. They, they're good people, right? They're part of they're part of your life <laughs> for sure. Any big highlights with those guys or with uh, some of the coaches before you got to this level? Uh, my Bantam Double A year was uh, really really fun. Uh, we were. We did pretty good. We just could not beat Flin Flon to save our lives. Placed first, uh, our first tournament, Flin Flon wasn't there. Then after that, it was second place because oh. we lost the Flin Flon every time. <laughs> Who were any of the guys from that team playing here now? Or are there some people that you remember from that team? No, the, the only person that um, I actually ended up playing with from that team was uh, Nolan Rideout. Oh, yeah. He was on that team and yeah, that was about it. Do you remember any other guys, and probably playing through North Stars is where they'll still stand out a little bit more, but any good players on the other teams when you played against them? I mean, it's kind of easier to say it at the end of the year when you saw these guys and thought, holy cow, that guy's good, or I feel like they're going someplace, or you were, you were kind of surprised by that. Any, any of those people stick out? From other teams? Yeah. Oh, uh, when we had uh, the Bruins up here, I kept getting line matched against their top line. By the end of those two days, you're just like, I don't want to play against them anymore. <laughs> I'm done. Just put me against a different line. <laughs> yeah, absolutely wore you down. Who, who were a couple of those guys? A um, guy named Hayden Moore. He's, I think, point leader this year. He's, yeah, he's crazy good at this sport. I think he'll definitely find himself going somewhere. Yeah, no, it's it's kind of neat. Sometimes you look back and you think that, and, and you're right. We all do it as players. You want to believe you're, you're way better than everybody, but sometimes there's guys on the other side. You just think, holy cow. Yeah, I got called up Bantam AAA, and I had to play against Connor Geeky. He went top 10 in this year's draft. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice brush with greatness, though. Yeah, I could say I played against Connor Geeky. I could say he tried to uh, toe drag me, and I poke trick the puck from him. There you go. I po poke trick the puck from an NHL player. <laughs> 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 you gave him a little lesson he'll never forget. Yeah. Uh, let's say that. <laughs> Uh, speaking of uh, sort of giving people a lesson or not, what's the spring summer plan? You got any more hockey lined up this year? Uh, I'll be playing with uh, the NCN Flames for the playoffs. And then after that, not really very many plans. Just kind of go with the flow, really. Go with the flow. Go with the flow for summer school next year. Hockey would work. We'll see. School? Uh, probably a little bit of both, hopefully. I'd like to do some schooling, some hockey. Depends on what uh, what ends up happening, really. <laughs> what the better option is, what the better thing that shows up is. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Whatever shows itself more worthy at the time. <laughs> I love it. And hopefully we get a cameo or two from you on the North Star Show next year. Definitely. If, I, if I'm around, I'll definitely cameo a few times. If you're in town, just like BK did the one time, you can slide in. Yep, and uh, we could go back to the Niche's Picks. 100%. <laughs> it's, it's a date. <laughs> Niche Picks, it's been awesome uh, hanging out with you this year. And, and like we mentioned on the show before, you and I connect during the day to talk about what we're going to do today. And it's been fun to get to know you and uh, to have you on the show. So top shelf, thanks for that. No problem. <laughs>